Nope.
over 18. Kahit 1 minute over 18, eh, di, wala naman tayong issue with two consenting adults. Uh, except uh, kung meron sa kanilang married, no? So kung married si Mr. Clavio, then this is an issue that his spouse can't bring up. Pwede siyang kasuhan ng spouse niya, pero for what? Uh, hindi naman po niya binahay. Uh, kasi dito sa Pilipinas, na alam natin na ang batas hindi po ano, equal between men and women. So pagka ang babae, nasa, ano, she is married, at saka merong conditions na maaaring i-consider that she had intercourse with somebody else. Halimbawa, nag-overnight in the same room with a guy, that's enough to create a presumption na nag-commit ng adultery ang babae. Pero ang concubinage na para sa lalaki, kailangan sex under scandalous circumstances, kailangan binahay sa conjugal home, or binahay niya somewhere else. So, ang tindi ng mga, ano, hindi yung mere sexual intercourse with somebody who is not your spouse doesn't automatically equate to concubinage. So, possibly that is another lesson that we can take from this one. Papaalala lang natin na on the books, sa ating revised penal code, hindi pa rin po patas ang babae at lalaki. So, pero in this case then, with Mr. Clavio, then if ever this is an issue, only his wife can take that up as an issue. So, waiting ko po, significant kung ano, kung kung sasabihin natin na may krimen na nangyari, significant yung age ni Miss Balabagan at the time of the conception. Kung over 18 na po siya, then uh, it becomes a now an issue of something between consenting adults. Uh, pero kung, kung hindi, well then that's a crime. On the other hand, if Mr. Clavier is married, baka rin pong walang concubinage unless mapatunayan that there was sex under scandalous circumstances or binahay yung babae either sa conjugal home or somewhere else. So, uh, papaalala ko lang, i-underscore ko ulit na hindi po patatay ang babae at lalaki pagdating sa infidelity. Pag babae po, the mere... Uh, suspicion or being or oh, spending overnight in the same room as a guy already creates a significant suspicion of adultery whereas ang lalaki kailangan scandalous circumstances kailangan binahay so hindi ganun kadali pag kalalaki ang um, um, kin kinakasuhan for infidelity within the bounds of marriage uh, Tinanong ni Glenn Avengosa, di ba pinaparusahan at kinukulong ang pedophile? Uh, ang tanong nga dito is kung ano yung age ni Miss Malabagan at the time of the uh, conception. So if she was under 18, then maaari. But is he considered a pedophile? May very specific kasi. Wala po kasi sa ating batas yung definition ng pedophile, at least not under RA 7610. Pero usually, ang um, idea ng pedophilia is that this is a child uh, uh, child usually 12 and below para i-consider and pedophilia is a, is, uh, is a term for uh, prefer for adults who want to have intercourse with uh, very young children so kasi at 17 masyadong malapit na to the age of consent yan eh uh, let me see, no. iba ninyo yung uh, constraints. Sabi ni... Miliano, smart Dominic, understandable na di patasin, no? Kasi pag babae uh -huh. na buntis ng iba, she introduces the scene not of the parents into the family as compared to men kasi most likely din naman pinapasok yung offspring from another woman into the family. Ang sinatabi ni Mr. Dominic ay yung tinatawag dati na in, ano, introducing spurious children into the marriage. Uh, in the age of DNA evidence po, hindi na din po siya. Ano, uh, hindi na po rin siya applicable. At saka, hindi, kumakabaga, there are means now of determining uh, paternity and filiation. So, uh, in the age of technology and ano, masyadong imbalance eh. Ang laki na, can you imagine na pag lalaki found guilty of concubinage, yung babae, destiera lang at yung lalaki, ano ba yung penalty niya? Halos wala. Pero pag babae, under adulting, nope. then uh, 
ano, ang laki, ang tagal ng prison term niya. It's still not equal. Kahit sabihin niya pa na there's a possibility of introducing serious children into the marriage. Uh, meron ng, ano, meron ng DNA evidence niya. And it's very, very simple. Uh, ganito kasi nga yan, eh. Uh, there's no criminal case. So, anong gagamitin na basihan ng GMA? And there has to be also a complaint. So, I think that this is really a question of whether or not GMA still has trust and confidence in their employee, Mr. Nope. Clavio. So, ano, ano yung public interest natin dyan? Dun sa, ano, sa relationship between GMA and Mr. Clavio. I think that what, what is more... Uh, at the top of the mind of Mr. Clavio, mas na, napag-iinteresan ay mas iniisip ni Mr. Clavio ay yung ratings niya. Kung may manunood or may makikinig sa kanya. And GMA can keep him on, but they can also let him go if it becomes a problem of ratings. Diba? Pero yung kung dun sa whether or not they still have confidence or trust in him, base yan dun sa sarili.